Do Pulse Chain and Pulse X really have better tokenomics than other projects? In this video, we'll be looking into what makes the tokenomics of both Pulse Chain and Pulse X stand out from others, and does this equate to success or not? Hello and welcome to AB Crypto. If you're new to our channel, just hit that subscribe button below and hit the notification bell to receive any new video updates. You can also follow us on TikTok at underscore AB Crypto underscore. And if you want to read some more about today's topic, you can get the links down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get started. As the final delivery of Richard Hart's Pulse Chain and Pulse X comes closer, the community is as bullish as ever before because they want good things to happen fast. And with both Pulse Chain and Pulse X, it is simply guaranteed. While all of this is going on, in the meantime, Richard Hart is making as many public appearances as ever before, and it's not just helping him to become a recognized figure in the crypto world, but is also helping the word to spread out about Pulse Chain and Pulse X. So far with Pulse Chain and Pulse X, we have achieved the following. Successful sacrifice phase that has allowed us to collect over one. $1.7 billion. We have the testnet that has been running flawlessly for the past few months. We also have a growing number of developers opting for Pulse Chain for their projects. A total of 125 different projects are already getting built on Pulse Chain, paving the way for many more to do the same. And if you want to get ahead of the game for Pulse X, make your way to PulseXTokens.com. Here you can also list new token projects for free, vote for your community's project, and utilize their free Pulse X faucet for 100 Pulse X per day that will be queued up and given to you at at launch. For the next few days, they are having a huge giveaway of up to 100,000 Pulse X, all in exchange for simply getting their name out there. You can use my personal links down below and can become an affiliate yourself to earn 20% from any users who join using your link. Now, coming back to our main question, which is to look into the tokenomics of both Pulse Chain and Pulse X and see why it is so different from others. Before we look into what the tokenomics of both Pulse Chain and Pulse X are, we have to first understand what it actually means. According to Coin Telegraph, tokenomics refers to the amalgamation of token and economics, which in the crypto world refers to the supply and demand characteristics of a project. These characteristics include the token's issuance, distribution, supply and demand factor, and other key attributes, which may vary from project to project. All crypto projects have predetermined tokenomics, which are mentioned in their white paper and controlled by algorithms. As tokenomics help to build a crypto project's economy, it can be a deal breaker as well, especially for projects in the long run, because once the hype starts to fade away, they have nothing better to offer to the users. This is where Richard Hart's ecosystem stands out because good tokenomics are not just a key feature, but they're one of a kind, which is also a reason why Hex did so well in just a few years, and both Pulse Chain and Pulse X have been able to gather a massive amount of sacrifice. While both Pulse Chain and Pulse X are designed to complement one another, similar to as Ethereum and Uniswap do, however, both have different tokenomics and a reason why one might do better than the other, especially in the long run. With Pulse X, it's tokenomics is pure genius. Pulse X isn't going to just be a DEX allowing users to swap PRC20 tokens for one another, but it plays a much bigger game. For one, Pulse X is deflationary, meaning that from the inception, its total supply will decrease. This will increase its buying pressure and as time passes due to the equilibrium of supply and demand, Pulse X is guaranteed to give positive results. Despite it being deflationary, it will have the largest yield farm allowing liquidity providers to earn yield as a reward every time users swap tokens. Tokens. Additionally, Pulse X will have a 0.26% fee on each transaction, which is less than its competitors. 76% of trading fees will be distributed with liquidity providers, whereas 21% will be used to buy and burn Pulse X, reducing its supply from circulation and ultimately leading towards an upward pressure because of its decreasing supply. Another key aspect of Pulse X's tokenomics is the AMM ratio fixer bot. This bot is designed to harvest liquidity from popular marketplaces, including that of Uniswap, SushiSwap, among others, and after that, will recreate those pairs with Pulse X by adding the liquidity it has harvested, thus ending up making Pulse X the most liquid exchange on Pulse Chain while also protecting the Pulse X price. Lastly, the incentive token. We don't know much about it, but Hart has designed it in such a manner so that it complements Pulse X, further incentivizing liquidity providers on Pulse X. With Pulse Chain, things are a bit different. Its tokenomics is such that it is bound to attract Ethereum users and increase its supply as time passes. This is because Pulse Chain is a fork of Ethereum, and as it will provide users with faster and cheaper transactions, more decentralization and security, all of these key features alone help it to stand out from others. Even if Ethereum's network has a lower volume than its competitors, it will still be powerful because the net worth of its users is much higher, and by giving the world's largest airdrop, Hart aims to attract these Ethereum users to Pulse Chain as all ERC-20 tokens will be transferred to PRC-20 tokens. Meaning, if you own some Ethereum NFTs, you will also have their exact copies in the Pulse Chain network. This 
is excellent marketing from Richard Hart's end as this will incentivize Ethereum users at least to experiment with the PRC20 copies. Initially, those PRC20 tokens will not have any value, but as time passes, they will catch on. And this is exactly something no one would want to miss out on. Pulse Chain is going to have zero inflation, meaning that not even a single pulse will be minted after its launch. This has to do with the consensus mechanism of Pulse Chain, which unlike proof of work, does not require to keep the miners happy. As transactions happen, validators will earn most of Pulse Chain's fee awards, whereas the remaining 25% will be burned to achieve one single goal, and that is to reduce the circulating supply of Pulse. Clearly, Hart is playing a different game by giving both the Pulse Chain and Pulse X these better tokenomics, and for better or for worse, there is a good chance he will win, ending up making many people rich. So, what do you think? Do you think Pulse Chain and Pulse X have good tokenomics or not? Do let us know in the comment section down below. This brings us to the end of today's video. We hope you guys found this video resourceful and entertaining. And if you have any more information to add to improve to the content in this video, please do so down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you loved watching this video, send us those likes. We thank you guys for watching and see you in our next video.